in the intermission by the time I got my gear off I think I had like 45 messages already so <laughs> it was uh people back home people from here uh, it was just uh, it was crazy the reaction that we got can we expect more I, I don't think so. No, I think. Like Aaron said, people go crazy for a goalie fight. As you sort of decide, mm. okay, we're doing it, or yeah. are you aware that you know, the whole city is losing its mind? Uh, not in the moment. I'm more focused on him at center ice, and and uh, you know I've I've seen him. He's a he's a big boy, so I knew it wasn't really going to work out well for me. But uh, at the, at the same time, it's just one of those things where it just felt like it was uh, the right thing to do in the moment. Did Did you really know that? Was you were skating up to him? You're like, boy. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a big boy. Like I said, I've seen him, and uh, uh, from what I gather, like obviously guys here play with him, they, they know how, how big and strong he is. So I kind of I knew it just kind of wasn't going to work out great for me, but um, it was one of those things I just felt like I, I needed to do it. Did you hear from him? Pardon me? Did you hear from him after? I got a couple messages from guys on their team, and they just said that he, he respected me for, for coming out and meeting him out there. And, um, yeah, I respected him for uh, for doing the same. It kind of looked like Darnell Nurse made the reservation for you. He did. I actually didn't see him standing there until Darnell's like, "Go, he's right there. Go." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Just one of those. Say to Darnell, thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that, buddy. Yeah, no. I, I think I, again, I think they knew how it was going to work out for me too, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's just one of those things that. In the moment, it just felt like it was the right thing to do. But Cam, you know that that can have an effect on your group. Just the fact that you did that, I'm sure you heard from your teammates about how positive that was. I did, and um, you know, I respected uh, the guys for jumping in there when when I was on my back there when they were poking away at it. And obviously, everyone's got their got each other's back on this team. And um, again, that was just one of the things where guys were, were I think, respecting me for for going out there and, and challenging them. When was your last fight? You must have had one in junior or in the not junior, but the minors. Uh, I've never been in a goalie fight before. Never. That was or, first but one. But have you fought? I players? fought a player in juniors. We started a line brawl when we were on the penalty kill, so I had to had to grab somebody. <laughs> so got suspended for the last two games of the season. Right? Yeah, it was awesome. I think uh, everyone loves a goalie a good goalie fight, and I think uh, there's a lot of emotion in the game. I think it, you know it was still a high. Uh, I know. The end result, uh, the score was a little bit lopsided, but throughout the game, it uh, there's a lot of motion, and yeah, it just started uh, started with their guy sort of jabbing him. He wasn't too happy with it, and then Smitty uh, came to center, and uh, it was great to see Talbs, uh, you know, answer the bell. Uh, it's sort of sad. He's like, look, because he's skating out there, he knows Smith's a big guy, and probably wasn't going to go great for him. Is that maybe <laughs> more going out? Like, no one. Just oh yeah, it was great. I think he. Uh, you know, he stood up for uh, himself and, and our team great. And I think uh, it sent a, a great, great message to our group. And there's a lot of guys in here who are really, really pumped up after that. I think, uh, you know, the fact that Smitty came to center, he, he, you know, he's basically, that's what he's coming there for. And uh, it was great by Talbs to answer the bell. Did you hear from your wife or family about the fight? Was yeah, my wife you? wasn't too happy with no. me. No. <laughs> No, she she was not happy with me after the game. She drove to the game and then and when I went in after that happened, I had to drive her car home. So, <laughs> <laughs> she huh? She left. No, no, no. She had, she ended up having to have a couple of drinks to settle herself down. She was so she was so mad at me. So, <laughs> had a glass of wine and I had to drive her car home. <laughs> Did you have to explain it to your youngin? Or? Uh, no, actually, the first time they. And first thing in the morning, they turned on the TV and that highlight was on. So they saw it as soon as they came on. They're like, Daddy and, and a bad guy or something like that, they called them. So I, I wasn't down there when they saw it, but my wife told me what happened. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of, the first thing what went through my mind, it's, it was kind of like, that was, that was my fight, right? Uh, I mean, uh, when I saw Tubbs going on him, I, I kind of hope, I kind of, I want to Tubbs win, but it was awesome what he did. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, it was, it was hard to go back. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Dubs did a uh, great thing for the team, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, uh, we showed to everyone we can uh, stand for each other. And uh, we are a good, good group of the guys. So I'm not really care. I will fight everyone. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's me or someone else. Have you been in a fight before? No, yeah. uh, but kind of it's bucket list for me. And uh, I, I want to be in that fight.